So I had the opportunity to compete in Clare Valley Cubing, which is a cube competition held in Clare, which is a regional town around two hours away from Adelaide. The drive there was absolutely beautiful, so I got to the venue and the first event was 3x3 three three round one. Running two notable really happened in round one. I got a 14 average with a pretty nice 11 single. Yeah, that's so good, I'll watch out. After that was my first round of 2x2. Two two. My hands were pretty cool, so I didn't really do too well. I got a 5 average in the end. But on the fourth scramble, something insane happened. Let's go! That was a 1.88, which is my first ever sub 2 single. So I'm just going to do a quick reconstruction of my solution. So the scramble will be right here on screen. So I did red in seven moves. And first I put in this piece in two moves like this. And then I inserted this one into the back. I panicked and then I did AUF for 1.88. What's also interesting is Gerald or Jezza Cubing also got a last layer skip, but he actually did a different solution on yellow in just five moves. So what he did instead was he paired up these two pieces first, like this, put them in. He predicted the LL skip and the AUF for a 0.77, which is very impressive. The crazy thing is that no one else in the competition found either of our solutions, so my 1.88 was the second fastest 2x2 solve in the entire competition. After this was my first round of skew. After my sub-10 choke in Adelaide Summer a few months back, I felt the need to redeem myself here. And indeed I did, not only setting a sub-10 PR average of 9.68, but also making the final round of skew which I really didn't expect. Yes! Yes! <laughs> oh, I actually clutched it. After Skew was lunch, which I had sushi, it was pretty good. But wait, do you know what's also pretty good? The amount of money that you can save off of your cubing supplies with our sponsor, Speedcube Shop. Let me explain. Speedcube Shop stocks a huge variety of cubes, lubes, accessories, anything you could possibly need for your speedcubing journey. But where do the savings come in, you may ask? Thanks for asking, by the way. By using my discount code RAF at checkout, you can save a whole 5% off your entire order. So what are you waiting for? Link is in the description. And after lunch was one-handed, which was one of the events that I was looking forward to most this call. I gotta say, my average was very consistent, getting myself a PR average of 26.91. It wasn't the sub-25 that I was aiming for, but I'll take a PR any day of the week. Uh, way to choke a double X cross. <laughs> Alright, I'll take it. Sure, after that was the second round of 3 by 3 and well, I didn't perform too well at getting a 13.83 average. However, this 1101 single is pretty nice. However, unfortunately, I did end up missing out on 3x3 finals by just one place. Up next was 4x4, which is an event that I've actually practiced a bit. My goal for this was a sub-1 average. The first sub was pretty rough, but after that I cracked out three sub-1s in a row. After finishing the last solve, I found out that the average calculated to 58.26, which beat my sub-1 goal, and I was very happy about that. After that was 5x5, five five, and all I wanted for 5x5 five five was to make the cutoff, which was 2 minutes 30. But the thing is, is that the competition was running a little bit behind schedule, and they reduced it to 2.15, and I wasn't sure if I was going to make it. I actually been practicing 5x5 five five quite a bit with the aim of making the original 2.30 cutoff, and the change completely caught me off guard. First attempt was a 2.21, which of course would have made the original cutoff, so I just one attempt. 2.15 was going to take a miracle.
was so close. <laughs> so yep, close. 216, missing the cutoff by 1.8 seconds. And to add insult to injury, I actually would have made it if I did the correct OLL. Yeah, this was quite disappointing, but what can I do other than move on now? Next up was Q Finals, which was the finals that I really didn't expect to make. And I felt pretty much no pressure going into this. So the scrambles were pretty nice and I ended up with a very nice 8.02 average, which is a new PR. And because I didn't make 3x3 finals, 2x2 finals was the last event for me of the day. And wow, was this a great finals. What event was 2x2? <laughs> no, this is 8x8. Yeah, my emotions going were pretty mixed, and I just had to go ahead and do my best. I started off with a really nice 240 for my first off, which really excited me. If you're not ready, uh, I... if everyone messing this is off, like, I'm only fifth. What do I do with that? What happens? I was using the timer to time some square one solves in between 2x2 two two solves and the judge hadn't reset the timer. So I called a delegate and he told me that I would get an extra solve. Like you're, you're able to do it, but yeah, you need one for that one. Yeah, you want? Okay, okay, no worries. And then I looked down at the scramble and my God, it was an awful scramble. <laughs> so I ended up getting an E1 and on the E1, I got a 427, which was pretty all right. It would have been a lot better if I didn't mess up at the end, but honestly, a 427 is a lot better than what I would have gotten on the actual scramble. Looking back at people's results afterwards, no one got a good solve on that second scramble, so I felt like I kind of dodged a bullet there. The third solve was a solid 431, and the fourth was my slowest at 504. Then I looked at my scorecard and realized I actually could get a sub 4 average, if and only if I got a really good soul for my last soul. And I needed at least a low three, so the pressure was on, and this was gonna be pretty difficult. <laughs> and yeah. I actually did it. A 386 average, my first ever sub four average in two by two. I remember making my mains and goals videos for this comp, and I mentioned that my goals were a sub two single and a sub four two by two, which I said were very ambitious and not likely to happen. While watching 3x3 finals, I was watching the WCA live on my phone and I actually found out that I actually came second in 2x2 somehow, securing my fourth ever podium and third ever silver, which I didn't expect at all. Funny thing to note, as I said, this is the third time I've come second at a competition. The first two was in square one, where I was beaten by my friend Chan, who was a lot faster than me. And guess who beat me in 2x2 today? That's right, it was Chan. He's like my hard counter or something. Anyway, the competition was a lot of fun, and I got to explore Clare Valley, which is a town that I've never been in before. Obviously, the second place in 2x2 was a highlight for me, which was completely unexpected. But to be completely honest, coming second is actually kind of getting old. I now have my sights set on that first place. That's my goal for the future. Anyway, that'll be it for this video today, so like, comment, subscribe, do all the things that help out the YouTube algorithm, that really helps out, and also join our Discord server. This is something I don't really mention too much, but we have a Discord server, and if you want to join, I'll leave the link down in the description. And that'll basically be it for me today. Enjoy the rest of your day. See ya.